Welcome to BATM server installation part 2 in which we will do the actual BATM server software installation on the Linux operation system which we have installed in previous video. Please uh, mind that uh, our software is changing quite frequently so some steps might be a little bit different in in later versions but the principle should be the same so first we will check if the internet connection is present on the system this we will do by executing command ping and we will check we'll try to ping the google okay so it's pinging we can stop this by pressing ctrl c i'll clear the display Next step, we will download the installation script from uh, http slash slash hqgeneralbias.com slash releases slash btm minus install Script downloaded uh, let's let's see if it's on the, if it's downloaded on the file system. So we'll do that by ls minus la. Okay, we can see that the file is here, but it's lacking the the execution permissions. So you have to add the execute execution permissions. So we will do that by change mod plus x like execute. BATM minus install. So now we see that the file is, has the execution permission and we can finally execute it under the root permissions. So we will type sudo dot slash BATM minus install. We have to type the username password. Right? So here is the list of the available commands. So we will start with first command which is init which will install the required operation system packages on the server. So first we have to type our license number which you received by email from us. And now it's downloading the mostly the security updates and the mysql server and the java runtime during the installation of the mysql server we have to provide the root password which will the new root password for the mysql server so we will time let's say mysql root we'll repeat that mysql root we should we should remember this because we will need that later on in, in the configuration phase Great, so we can proceed with the next step, which is downloading the actual software from us. So, BATM install download. And this is going to download the, the stable version of the software. We will have to upgrade it later, but first let's, uh, let's download the package. The package is downloaded. Let's see what is the our IP address on the server. So we see 10.0.2.15. Okay, so let's remember that because during the configure step we will need this address. So first we need to enter the database name. Uh, I recommend using PATM. Use database new database username and the password let's say 
bpass demo. Now we will need that MySQL root password which we configured in during the MySQL server installation. And now the IP address, so 10.0.2.15. Okay, great. So now now the server is configured and we can we can execute the final step of the installation. So now it's extracting all the all the files that have been previously downloaded. And we can see that the version installed is two, uh, 2015.04.16 which is uh, quite old even during the recording of this video. So let's uh, let's see what commands are available. To see them, uh, you have to move to the, you have to change the directory, uh, change the current directory to the slash batm, and then execute the batm manage, manage command, which is the command which we will now you now on use uh, to perform administrative tasks over the on the server. So first of all, let's see what's the what is the latest version of the BATM server. We'll go on generalbytes.com slash support, and on the bottom of the page there is a change log where you can see the latest released version, which is from the December 13, 2015. So let's let's upgrade the server first. So you'll execute sudo BATM manage upgrade server and we will retype that build number which was 2015 12 13 great we'll hit enter and now the upgrade package is being downloaded and it's it's also it does several tasks it's also migrated database but uh, right now it's we see that it's upgraded to the latest version. We can verify that by executing BATM manage info. So here we can see the IP address on which on which the server is listening, to which the terminal should connect, and on which the administrative console is running. And we can also see that two services are in state stopped: master service and admin service. Master service is responsible for communication with the terminals and admin service is responsible for communication with you with the BATM operators so admin service is basically the web console to which you through which you communicate with the server through browser so let's first uh, start those services you have to start them uh, also when you reboot the machine it doesn't start automatically, you have to do that manually. So it's starting both of the services. And uh, we can see that they are running now and we can go to the browser. And let's connect to the admin service. We will type https slash slash 10.0.2.15 port 777 and we are here and uh, how to how to configure the, the terminal on the server and how to continue on uh, you can find in next video